guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Appreciate you uh, clicking on the video. We're going to do Red Hot Chili Peppers' Wet Sand right now. You can actually help decide what songs I teach uh, by being one of my patrons on Patreon. Got a link below for you to check out. Thank you so much. Let's break it down. All right, the first part is a basic progression with some cool little licks in between. So we're gonna start with a G major chord. And that's gonna be with the open B string in there to a classic D chord, classic E minor chord, and then B minor. And then it starts over. So you give it a... Now, a little embellishment. You can hammer that A string when you hit the E minor. Then you have a little nudgy bend on that fifth fret A string to the second fret, to, oops, sorry, to that B minor chord. And then another lick. And I'm playing it this way. It's uh, second to fifth on the A string. And then back to two, so two, five, two and then five on the E, then two, three on the E. And that middle finger hits that, and you're back into the G chord. So from the top, So the next one is a very over the hills and far away kind of technique. Open D, hammer on pull off on the second fret of that D, and then second fret of the A, and two pull off, and then the open D again. So. The next one before the E minor, same lick. All that's the same, but instead of the open D as the last note, it's back down to the second fret of the A as part of that E minor chord. So from the top, slow. Normal, D, normal, D minor. Then the little five two. Doo -doo 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 -da. Same five two on the A string. So the next two. You just go to the second fret E and you go two, three, five, and then two on the A string. And now your middle finger is down there for the G chord again. Then open two on the A, open two on the D. Open A D chord. An A, the A note is part of a D chord. It's not the root, but it's in there. So that sounds pretty nice, right? So from the top, we've got. That's where we're at. All right, the next lick is right before the E minor of the progression, and it's open A, second fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, 
back to second fret into the E minor chord. Then you have a little slide. I'm hearing a slide here, but it's four to five, back to four, two, pull off that second note. So second half. first part. So once it gets going, it's just that same progression. Uh, those licks don't come again later when he has a little effect going, like a little Leslie kind of effect. So you need the next part now, which uh, we're going to do. Uh, there's there's a few different parts. One, bending the classic E minor pentatonic 15th fret up a whole step. So the chord progression for that next part, E minor, 7th fret bar, A minor shape. G major, which is a 10th fret bar, A major looking shape. I move that same shape down to the 5th fret here and for a D major, and then back up to E minor. Starts over again on E minor. Now you can do that, but I'm hearing a little substitution on that second E, like you have E minor, G, D, and then that, you can think of this uh, C major seven voicing that, that he does like a lot. It's just adding, thinking of that E minor right there, but your pinky is going to the 10th fret D and ring finger is going to the 9th fret G. It's still over E minor. Okay, so there's another guitar part going on that goes along with those chords, and... So there is kind of a double, you could combine two guitar parts if you're only playing by yourself, but the important note is... So we're playing the... 8th fret of the B up to the 12. And then 7 down to 5. All right, the other main section of the song, we could call it the chorus. It's going to be going between E major and C. just holds on that E. Um, there's a little a little slide there that happens one, uh, once or twice. E, 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 C, C, E. Da, 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 da. You can just think of E a half step down, so now your index isn't doesn't have any more room to go anywhere. One more section before the solo, and it's going to be E major, F sharp major, G sharp minor. So. Check it out. major seven in there. They love that little move. The Frusciante chord it's becoming. The final one, E major, F sharp, G 
sharp minor, F sharp major, E major seven, if you want to get fancy, a regular E will do, but you're just adding that eighth fret on the G string with that. And then E flat seven on that, on that kind of dark turnaround. And there's different ways to play it. That's one way. You know, uh, six, eight, six, eight. You also have the little triangle right here. I'm hearing this voicing, or I'm hearing that classic. So that'd be first fret, third fret, second fret, third fret. Then you have the solo over that part. All right, boom, magically a different guitar because of the frets, the amount of frets. But for soloing, you're thinking of it as, as that uh, G sharp minor pentatonic or a flat minor pentatonic. But he's going way up top, y'all. So the two main bends going on in that solo is way up top there. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. But you can see this minor pentatonic. So you're bending that 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 up and then grabbing the 19 on the high E with your pinky. Think of that pentatonic right there, and then the extension. You know, you're really almost out of room. So that would be um, 15, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. The 21st fret bend, whole step up. That's not the solo note for note, but we're pointing out the two hot spots. lesson really hope you had a good time and enjoyed yourself uh, also thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell notification really hope to see you again in another video real soon we'll see you later <laughs>